Sorry, my video stopped, so we're going to continue on. So this haul is going to be a Walmart haul. Um, and lastly, before we get into this haul, um, I also am going to do cleaning and organizing videos. Um, I have lots of cleaning and organizing to show you guys. Um, makeup tutorials because I have a lot of people that have asked me in the past to show them how I put on my lashes. It does take a little bit of time. Sorry, my hair is a mess, but I'm going to bed soon. I got to take off my makeup and jewelry and then I'm going to bed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do makeup tutorials and videos as well, showing you guys how I put on my lashes and, um, things like that and showing you like my new makeup products and, and like I said, things like that. So let's get into this. This is a Walmart shopping haul. So I went to Walmart tonight and we got some good stuff. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with... I just had the bag. I have it here all on my bed because, again, like I said, this is a different, different scenery for you guys. Not in my bathroom like usual. Um, I am on my bed, getting ready for bed. So I did buy two pairs of sunglasses, and this was the first pair. I just thought they were really cute. Um, <laughs> I actually have like a big nose, so it is hard for me to find glasses, sunglasses that like fit properly I guess on my nose so I just thought these were super cute um they have a the little bit of gold and they're like a brownish like brownish red on the trim and I really really liked these so I got these and then we got one more pair in here and I bought these. I was actually going to get a third pair. It was these little heart ones. And they were blue and pink. They were heart shaped. Um, but I didn't end up getting them. And these are so pretty. These have like purple on the outer layer. And then on the sides here. There's like. Sorry my camera is really really bad. I'm really blurry for some reason. But there's this beautiful rhinestone sparkles that are just stunning and they're really really pretty sunglasses so um I do believe that these were $9.99 maybe $10.99 I don't know something like that so um yes sometimes or a lot of times I get sunglasses and stuff from the Dollar Tree but I really liked these ones and wanted them from Walmart so I bought them this is hard to hold my phone, by the way, and do this video. So the next thing is um, our roommate has been using, he, I used his Dove conditioner the other day, and it made my hair so soft. So I bought some Dove conditioner. This one is for intense repair conditioner for damaged hair. And then after I bought it, I should have I texted or called him because he told me what he buys of Dove. Because I'm like, what kind of Dove do you, did you have when I used it last? Because, like I said, it really made my hair um, smooth and soft. And I'm trying everything to get it to grow. It didn't make my skin break out. So, it worked. So, but we're going to try these ones. I bought that one. And then I bought a two-pack of this kind um this one is for dry hair so I wanted to try this one as well next moving right along all their Easter candy was 50% off however they did honestly not have much left at all with a little bit of digging I did find some things so first I got this white chocolate solid bunny I got a huge bunny with big bunny ears um, and cho uh, milk chocolate for my son. I already gave that to him. <coughs> I did get this um, cookies and cream polka dot um, bunny. Again, these were all 50% off all their Easter candy, which, again, they did not have much left at all. I got a couple bags, a couple bags of the Lind Lindor um chocolates so I got a few of these bags they did have a few of these left so I bought some there are still more um, if you live in the area 
So the Reese's and like mainly all the good stuff. I did get some Tootsie Rolls and things like that as well. Just a lot of little candies and things um, that were 50% off for Easter. So, um, however, like all the good stuff, in my opinion, <laughs> um, like the Reese's and things like that were all gone. But, well, they did have one Reese's egg left, but it was like open. Somebody had opened the top of it, so I wasn't going to risk it and buy it, even though it didn't look like the egg itself was touched or opened or anything but I just didn't want to risk it so <clears throat> but I did a little digging and I went to like all the shelves and I went down and I looked at the bottom shelf and there was one last one of these so I got the one pound Reese's peanut butter bunny and oh my god I was so excited to find this like I said it was the very last 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 one see the reflection of my tv <laughs> in this but anyways yes i got the last one of this and again it was 50 percent off what a steal i think it was like i want to say like five dollars being 50 percent off because i think it was originally like ten dollars so i think it was five dollars with the 50 percent off all right next i bought these little gram um milk chocolate graham crackers mini grams it says with sprinkles um springtime sprinkles so they're just little graham crackers like i said with little sprinkles on top and milk chocolate sounded and looked good i got regular tootsie rolls these were like 50 cents for a little jar so i got regular and then i got the fruity tootsie rolls as well and that's just another bag of the Lin Lindor uh, truffles. So, moving right along. I know we have a lot more to get through, and I just gotta find it all. I should have organized it a little bit because I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys coming up very soon as well. Stick around for that. So, um, my son was running out of his cologne for school because he wears cologne every day. Um, so I got him three different axes. Um, this one is, I don't know, does it say what kind? Frozen pear and cedar wood scent. It smells good. But these ones were my favorites. I really liked this one. This one was Cool Ocean, Sea Mist, and Grapefruit. And the last one, which I think is probably my favorite, <clears throat> is this sage and juniper. Juniper, is that how you say it? Aqua bergamot? Bergamot? <laughs> I don't know. But the this one and the, the last one were probably the best smelling ones, in my opinion. The black one, it smells good too. But So I got three of those because... Like I said, he needed some. I looked at the Dollar Tree because I did go to the Dollar Tree as well. And, um, they didn't have anything really that I, uh, I mean, I did get him one there that had one, but it wasn't like anything that I really, really liked or loved. And they only had one scent in men's. They had some in women's, but... Yeah, I got put women's on them. So next I needed my makeup. So I got my this is what I use for my under eyes. It's the Maybelline um eraser multi-use concealer in the shade 115, which is teint tinty. I don't know. Again, however you say that. <laughs> So I really like these. They work really good. And that's what I used. So I went for my foundation. However, they did not have the original shade of the Maybelline that I used. So I actually bought three of these. Even though they are so expensive. But they work amazingly. And I actually mixed these with a foundation that I bought from, the, from Dollar General for $5. It's by, um, I believe, the... It's actually called, the brand is called Believe. And I couldn't tell you what shade it is right at the moment. Actually, yes, I can. 
let me get it out just because some of you might be interested and want to know what it is even though I will um, show you guys and link all my products when I do my makeup tutorial down below but this is the one yes it's by Believe and this shade is just buff there's it's not numbered it just says again it's blurry my camera is not the greatest but this is the color buff and move it so you guys can see it but whatever so these are five bucks at the dollar dollar general and they're actually pretty darn good i like to mix this with the maybelline um with the maybelline superstay foundation and it works very well for me so they did not have the original color I get in these, which is number 125 is what I usually get. So I actually got three different ones and I can mix and match them to make the perfect color that I actually do need if need be. So this one is 129. This is the medium beige. And then I got 120, which this one actually might be what I used to use. And then they ran out of this one. So I got the 125, which worked and I liked, I think, honestly better. Um, because this one was a little bit lighter than I wanted, I think. This is the classic ivory and 120 and this was the last one left and somebody had actually opened it and used a little bit of this one um but i'm gonna clean that off and it should be fine i think they just tested it so it still feels pretty full and then the last one i got was 220 in the shade natural beige so i got three of those like I said, I'll mix and match them to get the perfect shade for me. Next, they had these new sprays in Ocean Mist. And I really, I love these body, um, body fantasies sprays. I love the pink one. Um, I don't, oh God, I can smell this from here. And it, seriously y'all, it smells so freaking good. And then I meant to ask for a discount on this because this was opened and somebody definitely used this and it was the last one and this smells incredible and it was so cheap as well. Um, I think this is only like $6. So it's by OP and it was Pink Bliss. They had other, um, other scents and stuff. But this one was Pink Bliss and it says Ocean Pacific Pink Bliss pink bliss body mist so um oh my god i smell it from here because I, I don't know if it's leaking a little bit or whatnot but oh this stuff smells absolutely amazing i am obsessed this is probably going to be my new spray that i buy i'm honestly probably going to order a lot more of these online because the smell is just freaking incredible and, um, like I said, that was the last one left at my Walmart, but it was only six bucks and it was open and there was some gone of it. And I meant to ask for a little bit of a discount, but I think they only do 10% anyhow. So I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to buy it. It's pretty cheap as it is anyways. So why not? I can always order more online next one I bought I bought a few of these so I got this one it is by beautiful glow by justice and this one is wild wave rider in ocean splash it actually says hair and body fragrance mist I would not use this in my hair personally that's just me but these smell really nice as well um, they have a bunch of different ones of these and they're different kinds and they are, I think, I believe they were like $7.98, but I really liked the Wave Rider kind. And then I also got, oh my God, yeah, that's definitely leaking because it's like all over everything in here. 
Then I bought the Free Spirit Rebel Free Spirit Berry Citrus by the same brand by Justice. Um, and these, again, smell incredible. All these sprays. I had, like, the hardest time, like, the only body sprays that I really loved were, honestly, like, if Britney Spears did one thing right, it was her body sprays. Her body sprays are my favorite. Um, I order them online because they don't carry them in Walmart anymore, but I actually got a lot of people that... <laughs> I got hooked on those and that really liked them and I think that's why they kept selling out so fast. So, but it is what it is. So, let me make sure I didn't miss anything over here. These are all Dollar, tr Dollar Tree bags, so which will be my next haul for you guys. Those were the sunglasses. All right. So, moving right along, we got purses. All of these purses were on clearance for $9, and they are all by um, Time and True brand of Walmart. So first we got this little black one. It's got the little straps, and then it's got the big strap as well, and it's got the pockets inside the zippers, and then the middle buttons and opens as well. You can see the paper kind of sticking out the side there. I'm just going to show you guys the outsides of them today because I need to go to sleep. Next one. If you're a reseller, these are a great deal. If you buy them for nine bucks and you resell them for even like $15, you're still going to make some money on them because they're originally $23. So again, if you buy them, this one I really love. It's brown. It's so, so cute. Sorry, I don't want to show you guys the background because it is a mess right now. Again, same thing. It's got a bunch of different compartments. And this one, like, um, has the magnetic shut. But it's so cute. Oh, it also zips, too. But I'm going to move that so you can see. So I actually bought this one in brown and black. It's got an outside zipper pocket and the big and little strap as well. So there's that one in brown. Again, I got it in black as well. Nine dollars. Nine dollars for all three of these. So I got it in black as well. This one's a little bit better to kind of see in the camera because it's kind of closed. Um, the, that was the last one of the brown one. So I snapped the brown one up. Oh, I just smell that perfume all over my hands and it smells so freaking good, y'all. So again, it's got the little straps, the big straps. Sorry, there's all my stuff on the bed. <laughs> Don't mind it. I'm just literally throwing it on my bed right now. So my bed is a disaster because... I'm just throwing it over as I go through the video and go through everything. So, and the next one and the last one, and this one was only $7. Again, it was the last one left, but I got this dark, like, hunter green one. It's actually a hunter green color, and this one was only $7. It is like a cushiony, so soft material. I absolutely love this material. And I wish the camera did it more justice because it's so hard to see in this camera. And my picture is just not very clear. So it's got a little button here. And then it's got the true in time, basically the pattern. Um, they have them in a lot of their purses. And the inside, so a little zipper pouch, um, and that's it basically just the main pouch and the little zipper pouches. But it's like that, um, it's basically like a memory foam kind of material, it's like super soft and just really pretty for seven dollars. So I thought that was really cute. They did, I believe they had this in, 
like a a brown and some other kind of colors but I did not like those ones I didn't even really know if I liked the dark green but I just couldn't pass it up for seven bucks if I don't like it or want it I can sell it and definitely make a profit on it and it does have the outside pocket here so you can as well put your phone in and it's got a nice long strap that it has the belt buckle adjustment on it as well so that is that one super duper cute and that is the big picture of it and moving right along we got a couple more things to get through and that is going to be the end of this video so the next thing is clothes and i believe that's the last thing i also bought food and stuff but um this is the last main thing so first we got this little t-shirt it's a really pretty like um pastel -y. it's actually like make sure I'm right before I say it it's like a pastel -y bluish green color um with these little sunflowers on it and then it's got the pocket and then at the bottom it's got the little tie so just a cute little simple t-shirt and it was only eight dollars and ninety eight cents really cute scoop neck but so comfortable super lightweight again very cute shirt they're mainly all like that but they're all different a little bit different patterns so the next one is i love butterflies i'm obsessed with butterflies i think butterflies are so pretty so this next one is a black with um like beautiful orange and brown butterflies on it. And this one does not have a pocket. It's just a short sleeve scoop neck t-shirt. And um, the first one was in a size small because that's all they had. This one is in a large. I got it in a large just because it was a little bit more comfortable in a large. Again, super soft material, super duper cute little bit longer so if you like it longer I personally tuck mine in when they're a little bit longer because I do not like my shirts longer like that um so I just tuck it in and wear it like that but that was that one this one I wasn't sure if I honestly really really liked but when I put it on I thought it was so cute and these ones come with a necklace. So these ones are a couple dollars more. These ones were $10.98. So like $2 more. But really, really freaking cute. So this is the first one. It's just the black sunflower one. It fell off the hanger. So this one actually has a V-neck. And again, it's just black that same material super comfortable super soft and lightweight material here I'll put it on me maybe I'll do a try on haul for you guys tomorrow with some of this stuff from Goodwill and Walmart and then it comes with this adorable little gold heart necklace and it is so pretty it's got this a little heart like detail inside again my camera is horrible but it is such a pretty necklace I'm trying to do it kind of from afar so you guys can see it better so pretty dangling little necklace with this one this one's a gold heart so there is that one and you'll see this better because it's the exact same oh it also has the tie at the bottom as well so I'll show you it better on the gray one because this one's still semi on the hanger. <laughs> no, I'm trying to keep it on the hanger so you guys can see it better. Sorry. Alright, so this is the gray one. And again, it is butterflies. So it has this v-neck with these beautiful blue butterflies. It's got the tie bottom. These ones do not have pockets as well. 
and this one comes with a necklace this one is a double necklace in silver and let me see if I can of course it's all like tangled up around the freaking tag right now so you may just cut the tag off to be honest let me see if I can get it I'm holding my phone right now, so it's hard to do this one-handed, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it. There we go. And don't mind my bed because I got stuff all over it. So this one, there we go. I just took it off. A lot of these necklaces for these, this particular uh, one... We're all tangled up together. Like, I had to go back and find one that wasn't tangled because they were just all tangled up. And mine is all tangled up now, too. So, anyways, I'm just going to show it to you as is because... So, this is what it looks like on this one. It's got a little, like, silver dot there, and then it's got this silver... Um, V basically and the dot kind of dangles um, on top of it it is tangled super cute and pretty so those two come with necklaces and I believe they did have other yeah they had a few other designs and patterns with different necklaces so if you don't like these ones you're you know obviously you can go to your Walmart and see what they have um, they had different designs and patterns. I think of all, well, I actually, I don't think, I know that they had different patterns and designs of all of these shirts that I got. So if you're not a butterfly person, um, they had other ones. They had like a heart, uh, yin yang. Is that how you say it? Yin yang. The white and black little symbol. It's yin yang, right? <clears throat> Hopefully I said that right, but anyways, they had those, um, on like a, um, rusty orange kind of looking shirt, which was really pretty too. I almost got that one, but I had spent enough and got enough, so that's why I didn't get that one. Plus I liked the other ones. I liked the butterfly one a lot better because that one was in the butterfly, um, t-shirt material, so I just got the butterfly one. So I think that's everything. The rest of the stuff I got was just food for the house, Lunchables, chips, um, snacks for the kids' lunch, etc. So um, I think that was everything for the Walmart haul. Let me just double check so I don't forget anything for you guys. I know that you guys like to see everything. Oh, no. I did forget something. i it now. Last but not least. I got this Heritage by Mindy McKnight Soothing, oh, something extra, balancing leave-in conditioner. I needed a good leave-in conditioner, and this stuff is really pretty good. <clears throat> um, some of her products make my skin sensitive, and some don't. So I'm praying that this one does not. Um, but her stuff smells so good. It is sulfate-free, um, silicone-free, gluten-free, mineral oil-free, color-safe, cruelty-free, vegan. So these are really good products if you, um, especially if you guys are into um, vegan and all, all the, you know, I mean, it's important to have all those uh, cruelty-free and everything, I believe, so... This is Heritage again by Mindy McKnight. And this is the leave-in conditioner. So I'll let you guys know how this works and how it is. And then we got a self-tanner. So I ended up, I was back and forth deciding which self-tanner to get. They had spray, they had mousse, um, they had more expensive ones, they had less expensive ones. So I ended up going with this tanned AF and for those of you that don't know what AF stands for um 
I'm sure most of us do. <laughs> um, but anyways, so this was three on the darkness scale. They had all the way dark. They had four and they had three. So I went with the three because I don't want to look like an orange and I don't want to look super, super duper tan. So let me know if you have used or tried their products yet um, or in particular their tanning um, their tanning mousse or tanning spray let me know if you've tried it and how you liked it because I'm curious to know how it's going to be and then I probably could have bought this at the Dollar Tree I don't know if Dollar Tree still has these or not but it was sitting there at Walmart, so I bought the glove to put it on with in black, and it's super soft, so um, the Dollar Tree ones are kind of flimsy and kind of junky, but what do you expect? I mean, for $1.25, this one was um, almost $6, so that's a big difference if you think about it, so... Um, I to say I don't want tan on my hands. Okay, so a tan mitt. Yeah, that's a tan mitt. So we're going to use this to apply the mousse on there. So it's like there. Oh, yep. And then I also bought this leave-in conditioner, which I don't know how I feel about this one, but this one is also Heritage by Mindy McKnight Strength Training. Leave-in conditioner pudding, it says. A pre-styler leave-in treatment that conditions hair. So it's a leave-in conditioner and it's like, I guess, a styler all in one. It's a pudding. So we're going to try this one. I think that the other one will probably be more suitable for what I am looking for and want. But we'll see. <clears throat> I'm up to try it. So we're going to try this one as well. And now I think we have everything. Yes, I think that's it. So again, I just got some food and snacks for the rest of the stuff. But that was pretty much the majority of what I wanted to show you guys and this video. Alright guys, so stay tuned. I will post the last and final video of the recent shopping sprees in the last two days. Um... <clears throat> In the next couple days, um, like I said, I'm going back to work tomorrow. I'm exhausted. It's super late right now, so I do need to get to bed. And so we'll see when I am up to posting the next one, which will be my Dollar Tree haul. So I'm going to try, try, try not to uh, use or open anything until I can post it and show you guys. Because I want to share it with you guys before I open everything and, you know, start using this stuff. I got some really good and awesome things at Dollar Tree as well. And then I have some older, they're not like super old, but I have some older hauls that I want to show you guys um, from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, Dollar General. Um, and then we're going to go through and show you some of my best deals and best my favorite things that I have bought from either Goodwill, the flea market, or other thrift stores, etc. So, um, because I have gotten some stellar dealer, stellar dealers, stellar deals in the past, especially um, from the flea market and Goodwill. I'm going to show you guys my purses I got from the flea market. I did pay, you know, they're a little bit they're knockoffs, but they are uh, Louis Vuitton knockoffs, and they are gorgeous. I love them. So I will be showing you guys those as well. So stay tuned. I got a ton of videos I can do for you guys of shopping hauls and much more. Again, tell me what you'd like to see of what I said that you're going to see and stuff. And, um... And tell me which ones you're looking forward to and which ones you're not so much looking forward to. Um, I want to try to mix it up, like I said, and do like a bunch of different little things here and there. 
like cleaning and organizing hauls, uh, not hauls, but cleaning and organizing videos, um, makeup videos, tutorials, try on hauls. Um, I'm going to switch it up and give you guys a little bit of variety of everything. Um, we're also going to do Timu and Sheen. I know a lot of people have been posting Timu stuff, so I'm trying to let that kind of calm down. And then I will order my haul from Timu and post that for you guys as well. Um, sorry, excuse me. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's about it. I do have a slight obsession with purses and shoes, and I really want my husband to, like, build me like this beautiful purse rack <laughs> I have like this vision in my dreams and I would just so much love that so we'll see maybe one day um but yeah again our my next one is going to be a Dollar Tree haul and then we'll go from there and see what else I have I know I have a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree that I could do several hauls for. Again, I just have several things. <laughs> I have too much stuff. But it won't stop. And it won't get boring. And it won't get old. Because I'm going to switch it up, like I said. So, stay tuned for the next video. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. So you can come and see the next exciting adventure with me of fun things I either got or some organizing and um, skills and then we're also I'm also going to do a new page I want to do a new page um, on YouTube where it's chat with me so I just want to like you know I just want to have like a page where we just chat like about everyday thing kids school for the kids work um, home life, anything and any, anything and everything you want to talk about. And I'll just tell you kind of how my day's going, what's new with me and things like that. So, and then you guys can tell me your stuff and just kind of basically like have a little chat page. So, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that because I think it sounds kind of fun. Um, I think I'm going to call that one, like I said, chat with me. Because why not? I thought that was a cute little name. I don't know if that's already out there or not. But, and if you guys also want to see, like, videos of me going to get my nails done. Because I do need to go get them done. However, I'm probably not going to have time to get them done until, um, I'm thinking probably next Monday or Tuesday. And... My nail tech is amazing, but he did a horrible job last time because they're not even, and he was rushing because he had an appointment and he thought he could fit me in, but obviously he couldn't. But look at that. Like, look at this middle one. It is driving me nuts because it is so much shorter than the other ones. And that one's kind of crooked. So yeah, he's got to fix them because I pay a lot of money and I tip really good, but I want to be happy when I pay my money and tip them good. So, and I think for spending that much on a freaking nails, but it is my like one little treat to myself, but spending that much on nails, you want them perfect and the way you want them. So I should have said something, but again, he was in a hurry. He normally does an amazing, incredible job. So I did not say anything and I just left it alone. I did have to go to work that day too, so I was actually in a hurry myself, so it is what it is, but when I go back this time, I'm definitely going to say something and have him fix them, so if you guys want to see my next design or if you guys have ideas for my next design, um, I'm a very neutral person when it comes to my nails. Now, my toes, I... It's so weird because my toes, I prefer more darker colors. Well, actually, I prefer either one on my toes. I like both neutrals and dark colors and stuff on my toes. But on my nails, I personally prefer lighter, neutral, um, basic designs and colors. I don't care for, like, dark reds or dark blues or any kind of thing like that on my nails. So, 
with that being said if you guys have any designs that you like really love and you think that i would love maybe uh feel free to send them to me right now they are like this leopard design pink and white and gold super cute though he is an incredible artist i will give him that he he does an amazing job on like any design or art that i give him he nails it every time so if you live in the florida um fort myers uh area north fort myers slash cave area and you want to know where i get my nails done i will be happy to share that with you just um, message me down below and I will get back to you with that info. All right, guys. Again, we'll see you in the next video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and great day or night, depending on what time it is over at your place. <laughs> and I will see you guys soon. Bye.